What's going on, chickies? It's Baron here. Today, we're going to be doing a deep dive on the Reclaimer. Um, before we get into it, don't forget the T16,000 dual stick giveaway, hashtag sticks. If you want more entries or you want to help the channel out, become a member or, or patron. Um, if you want to subscribe, subscribe, like the video, comment, and share the video with your friends, and really, it would really help us out. But we're going to get into it. So, we're going to get into an introduction so many of you know the reclaimer the massive salvaging vessel that doesn't have any uses just yet but next year it will have its uses alongside the vault chain it will be amazing to see that big arm of its um uh, working so that and the tractor beams as well so in the 32 million dollar stretch goal i don't know if anyone's seen this but the ship was known as the surveyor now in the concept ship it was actually redesigned by a guy named George Hull. Hull. He is a freelancer conceptor, so there's some images over the video showing you what it looked like, well, what it looked like when he designed it. Pretty much, obviously, it's the ship that we got now, but he was the one that concepted it. Now, going into the ship, um, it got a best in show skin back in 2949 with white and purple livery, which looked pretty good. I mean, I liked the white and gold a little bit more. I mean, this year's best in show wasn't that great, but okay. Now, in terms of functionality, it doesn't have much yet, but when salvaging gameplay comes in, it's gonna have a lot of potential. It's gonna be an amazing vessel. So as much as the arm moving, it's gonna have a lot more functionality. Obviously, the inside components of the ship are gonna be really, really great. So going into the components as well, so it's got a one size four radar, three size two computers, one size four power plant, two, three size three coolers, three size three shield generators, a one manned size six with two size fives on it, CF five five sevens, and then you got remote, well six times size six remote turrets with twelve size three CF three three sevens, and you got two tractors, two size three tractor beams, and one salvaging arm. I don't know what the size of it is, but it is pretty massive. Just so you guys know, and then you got your fuel tank, uh, fuel intake, which is four size threes for your fuel tanks you got four size threes and for your quantum fuel tank you have one size three so that is pretty interesting there i mean going into the components of this ship sometimes you're like you're pretty blown away from them and then you're like what that's not that much but this is pretty uh um, this is pretty impressive and for the quantum drive sorry it's one size three and for the jump drives it's one size three as well so <clears throat> I mean if you're going to get one of these it's definitely worth the investment now I mean it's $450 350 war bond but if you do get it for $400 I feel like this would go up in price with its functionality once it comes into play now this has got a crew requirement of four to five i mean once you get npcs in you might not be too bad it is classed as a heavy heavy salvaging ship it has a cargo capacity of 180 scu a stowage space of 8 million u scu uh, it is flyable obviously it's in the game right now you can rent it for 302,000 uec a day or 151,000 REC. Now you can buy it in game as well. It's 15,126,000 credits, but I wouldn't really bother about it until it actually has some sort of functionality in the game. It is 155 meters long, 118 meter beam, with 50 meters of height. Has a combat speed of 76 ms, a max speed of 932 ms, and a mass of 9,757,854 kilos. And it's a time limited ship. Now, obviously, it's got that massive arm uh, on it. That is like the biggest thing about this ship. So like I said, the biggest noticeable feature is the massive multi-tool arm that dwarfs many ships and can grab space-borne salvage and carry it aboard for processing. Now just so you guys know, this ship can hold a constellation size worth of salvage, which is, you know, I feel like that's a lot, but I feel like there might be another salvaging ship that's bigger than this coming along later on. I mean, I could be wrong. So this does have drones as well. The drones... It carries an array of drones, uh, which are a survey class for uh, seeking out valuable items and ores, I guess, like when you before you start salvaging, just so you know what to get and be a little bit more discriminative of what you want to get. Now, with the bridge deck, we'll go through the decks and the floors and what, what's in them from what I could find. So with the bridge deck, you have a cockpit, uh, you have scanning room. 
So in there you have pilot seats, claw operator seat, tractor beam operator seats, two escape pods, remote turret, sta- uh, remote turret station, sorry, scanning station, elevator to hab deck, elevator to outside, salvage operating station, and the shredder. So you'll be able to see the shredder and a ladder going to the gravity gen room. Going down to the sub deck, you have a reactor, you have an engineering control room, and two um, ladders that are the same. Now you also have a habitation deck, elevator to the bridge in there, uh, ladder to the top turret, gravity gen, a ladder to the bridge deck, your drone bay, uh, you have a general ladder to bridge deck, you uh, have three. Um, you have a general console in there as well. You have three escape pods, a docking collar, a mess hall, a kitchen, cruise quarters with um, like double bunks as well. You have lockers, sinks, showers. The captain's quarters has lockers. Um, you have shelves. You have a bed in there, other things as well, obviously, just your general stuff. At the back, it has two airlocks. So you have space to put suits on both sides. You have supply area, a uh, supply area. You have first aid like kits as well two ladders and the main elevator in the ship itself so the coolest part about this ship as well is that it actually is based on the nostromo from alien so if you didn't know that go check it out go have a look around it's actually pretty fun to go and check this thing out i mean a lot of the time it feels really creepy because you feel like you know a xenomorph is going to jump out and actually <laughs> it feels like i don't know it just feels like you're in danger all the time when you're on that ship especially when you're alone it's actually pretty creepy to be honest if you're in there so you have a manned cutter if you um, need to like personally get up close the reclaimer also includes a manned cutter which can be deployed for eva recovery operations now you have the free defense that says the reclaimers turrets are multi-use hard points which can be mounted with defensive guns or missile batteries equipment with an array of tractor beams floodlights scanners and a multitude of other equipment you have a wide range salvage specific options um, so in addition to the large cargo hold, the hull is packed with reclamation equipment capable of processing and storing up to consolation worth of salvage, as I mentioned. Now, something I was looking at before, um, it's a little bit of a disclaimer, but I've already gone over, but it's something that's a little bit interesting. The Aegis Reclaimer is equipped with a reinforced cargo bay, unmanned surveyor probes, a set of floodlights and advanced density scanners. It is also... Um, jump capable thanks to its standard uh, tar- Tarsus Marud Marauder jump engine. Cargo disclaimer as well. The reclaimer is a big ship. Much of the internal volume is taken up with salvage machinery and storage for scrap metal. Nevertheless, it does have a large cargo hold with uh, which can be used for standard freight. We, we are, they're currently uh, in the process of taking proper in-game measurements and existing cargo numbers for older ships which are likely to shift. So expect the cargo capacity for several of the ships to increase but again that's just when this was originally concepted so that could have changed within itself. So if you haven't read the main page of when the concept sale was unveiled it says a dedicated salvage and reclamation platform the reclaimer is the perfect ship for venturing into the verse in search for riches and secrets whether you're churning the debris fields of raw ore or searching for lost artifacts the reclaimer is built for utility the life of a salvager can be tough but the technology like the reclaimer behind you it can be a profitable way to make your living among the stars Aegis has built the perfect ship for those that want to write their own star citizen story equipped with a massive multi-tool arm the reclaimer can grab space born uh, salvage and then carry it aboard for processing processing in addition to a large car Cargo hold. Uh, the hull is packed with reclamation equipment capable of processing, storing up to constellation worth. That is written everywhere now. So the reclaimer's turrets are multi-size hard points, and pretty much we go to additionally it includes a large cutter. So like I've gone over before, there's a lot of there's like there's a sort of a fair bit of information on about this ship, but then there's not a lot about information about this ship. So you know, think about it. If you want one of these, it would be good for it. I know I've got one. You know, not everyone's going to need one. Eventually, it's going to get to the point there's going to be so many of these things that it's just... 
it's going to be ridiculous. It's going to be so easy to find one of these. So whether or not you have one, it's completely up to you. But again, if you do have one, it may benefit you quite greatly. Like I said, there's not a lot of information on there. Now, you guys know my game loop that I'm going to be using this for. So you'll have the Endeavor, you'll have the Crucible, and you'll have the Merchantman. So you go out and you'll go do some salvaging with this vessel get the components and whatever else you need take it to the crucible repair it make sure it's all good take it to the endeavor put it into your super collider and then overclock it then either use it for your own equipment or your own vessels or you can completely move on and sell it on the merchantman which will be greatly profitable which is what i am going to do so whether or not this ship has any like, application to you it's definitely going to have a great use in the verse i feel like the ship's going to go up in price as well once the um the functionality is there for it so you know it might not go up but it may go up by fifty dollars seventy five dollars it could be could be more than that but i'm not really going to put anything on top of that because i feel like if i put any more on top of that it's just gonna um throw people off and then people are going to get upset about it but i do say this time and time again you can buy these ships in game and just for the user don't buy these ships it is going to be a bit of a track to get these in game but again like i said you can get them in game they're completely uh like profitable you can definitely get them with uec at uh the ship shop so just be mindful of that i'm not forcing you guys to go out and buy these ships and you know make that split second decision you know it's up to you you have time to think about getting one of these and it's not going anywhere anytime soon so whether or not you want one um it may be of the fact that you know a lot of people are going to need one a lot of people are going to have one so you know you could just crew on someone else's or borrow someone else's i don't think it's going to be really that difficult at all so take that on board with a grain of salt don't really you know pay into too much of having to buy one you know you've got a lot of time you can do a ccu chain with this one and like i said it's going to have a lot of great functionality in game i do feel like it will go up in price once their ship has actually been you know fully decked out with all its um its functionality at the same time i don't think those are tractor beams for those other pieces i think they are laser cutters so what it does is it obviously cuts up that other debris makes it a little bit smaller so you can process it a little bit easier and you can actually process it into your uh, vessel now speaking about that i want to go on to the salvaging system and you know the the idris um m and the idris k so you know we have found out well we do know that in some fashion or another we will be able to get our hands on an idris m in game but i really just want to touch on whether or not we will be able to uh, salvage and you know a railgun a size 10 railgun and i feel like we should be able to like the functionality should be there i don't think there should be any reason why we shouldn't have the um the resources and the functionality to do that so hopefully that's going to be a thing down the track hopefully they can touch on that when they bring in salvaging because you know what i would think it would be a really great game loop because you could get this size 10 put it on your endeavor and you could probably even overclock it if you could even fit it on there and and then sell it obviously or keep it for yourself and put it on your own idris and that's something that really interests me if we were going to be able to do that because obviously the idris p doesn't come with a rail gun and it does have come with that slot for it so whether or not you're going to be able to salvage all those guns off an idris m or an idris k and then put it on your idris p as a kit so that's something that really interests me like i said let me know down in the comments what you think about that but i feel like that's going to be something that will be really highly sought after it's like when you go to a javelin and you get the the weapons off of that i think there's going to be maybe some things in play where you won't be able to do that but again you might be able to do that and it's maybe a part of the game loop obviously but we'll see how we go i hope you enjoyed it's been baron i'll see you in the verse